Shalom. This is Rabbi Mark Angel at the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals. Our website is jewishideas.org. The Institute stands for an intellectually vibrant, compassionate, and inclusive Orthodox Judaism. Thanks for tuning in to this YouTube program. Uh, we've been taught from the time that we're children that human beings are created in the image of God. This goes back, of course, to the very beginning of the Torah and Bereshit. God created Adam, the Tzelem Elohim, in the image of God. And we've been taught all along that this means that all of us are created with the special spirit of God, that all of us are worthy of respect and dignity as human beings, and that not only are we worthy of respect, but everyone is. We're supposed to see the image of God in all human beings. Now, this is a beautiful moral lesson. The only problem is it comes into conflict with some things that we see with our own eyes and feel with our own minds. Namely, uh, we have a world that includes not just fine, upstanding, image of God people, but we also have a world full of terrorists, murderers, people who perpetrate hatred and violence. We see people who don't mind putting bombs at the Boston Marathon, killing innocent victims for no reason at all. We have people who are remorseless, uh, tyrants, who abuse their peoples and abuse others and threaten uh, world peace, uh, world order, wherever they open their mouths. How are these people to be seen as being created in the image of God? What kind of image would that be? How can we have respect and dignify these people? The answer, I think, is uh, requires a different interpretation of what it means when the Torah says that human beings were created in the image of God. I think this means not that we all automatically have the image of God, but rather that God put within us the potential to grow into individuals who are worthy of developing an image of God within them. In other words, it's possible for us to be fine human beings, dignified human beings, but it's also possible for us to go the other direction, to descend into being like beasts, uh, people who are not dignified in the sense of being created in the image of God. So we have a potential to develop, but not a gift that is irre irrevocable. In Parshat Kitesh say in the book of Devarim, the Torah discusses the law of a person who is being hanged for a murder. Obviously, he's a criminal. He's being hanged is not a nice fellow or woman, but rather is a murderer. And the Torah says that the person's body should not be remaining on the tree overnight, but rather should be uh, buried before nightfall. Ki kilat evim tavi, and the, it's normally translated to mean because the hanging of a dead body overnight is a disgrace to or a shame for or a curse of God, since Every human being is created in the image of God, according to this interpretation. It's not nice to have this image of God hanging from a tree overnight in disgrace. And therefore, we have to bury the person before nightfall. I interpret this verse also slightly differently. I think the disgrace isn't that a person created in the image of God is hanging from a tree. The disgrace is that a person who could have had the image of God did not fulfill that image. The disgrace is not only to God, the disgrace is to humanity. Here is a person who had every opportunity to be righteous, to be good, to be compassionate. And instead of that, instead of developing the image of God within him or her, this person became a violent murderer worthy of being hanged on a tree in disgrace. The shame is not just to that person as a murderer. The shame is not just to God who created us with the potential to be godly people, but the disgrace is to all of humanity. I think all of us should understand that there's a... The, statement that gives us the blessing of being in the image of God is a challenge to us. We're supposed to grow in that challenge, trying to raise ourselves, elevate ourselves and other human beings to indeed try to realize this divine quality within us. But when we come across terrorists and people of violence and haters and, vi and people who are cruel, we should realize that they are de desecrating the image of God that was possible, that was potential within them. These people do not have an image of God. They've taken the potential and they've destroyed it and shamed it and have descended to the level of beasts. Sometimes people think that if they have power to kill others or to hurt others or to inflict hatred against others that this gives them strength. It doesn't. What it does is undermine their humanity, undermines the divine spirit within them and in fact is a shame for themselves, a shame for God, a shame for all humanity. We all pray that we reach that level where all of us, all human beings, indeed earn the image of God within us, that we try very hard to create a world and a society where the image of God prevails, a spirit of love, of compassion, of understanding. I hope this has been helpful to you in your own thinking about the topic. Please, again, visit our 
website jewishideas.org. Also, if you have questions uh, on Jewish law, on Jewish thought, questions that are on your mind, please feel free to send them to me at mdangel at jewishideas.org. That's mdangel at jewishideas.org. And I'll be glad to try to address them on another program for our YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Shalom, shalom. Chazak, chazak. And all good things.